The Russian Navy is powerless against Ukrainian drones. The Army wants new anti-drone systems. The Russian Navy needs anti-drone capabilities aviation. New systems for detecting and suppressing ship-based UAVs are just being developed. This was announced by the Deputy Commander-in-Chief of the Navy, Admiral Vladimir Kasatanov. He says Russian developers are actively working to create ship systems capable of detecting and suppressing drones enemy, including small ones and low-flying ones, over water. To date, some systems have already entered the testing stage. In addition, existing systems are being modernized, taking into account the experience of combat operations in Ukraine and means of suppressing UAVs using laser are being developed. Currently, tests are being carried out on ship-borne radars capable of detecting small UAVs and other low-flying air targets. Work is underway to modernize the ship's multifunctional electronic warfare systems in terms of introducing modules for jamming satellite radio navigation and radio data lines. Kasatanov said, as the Admiral noted, today many systems that have already been put into service are being refined, taking into account the experience gained during the war. Russian forces have encountered a new enemy in the Black Sea, Ukraine's arsenal of naval kamikaze drones. These deceptively small unmanned vehicles have targeted Russian Black Sea fleet since September 2022, picking off Russian battleships one by one. Ukraine shifted its focus to naval drones after the start of Russia's full-scale invasion in February 2022. Due to their unavailability on the market, the Ukrainian military decided to create its own, relying as much as possible on off-the-shelf components. In essence, Ukraine's naval kamikaze drones crash into their targets and explode. The Ukrainian Navy created the 385th Separate Special Purpose Unmanned Surface Vehicle Brigade in August 2023, the first ever military unit to specialize in the use of naval kamikaze drones. The Security Service of Ukraine even decided to develop its own naval drones, revealing the Sea Baby, Mamai, and Magura in 2023. There are at least three structures within the Ukrainian government and military that use naval kamikaze drones. The Security Service of Ukraine, the Defense Ministry's main intelligence directorate, and the Ukrainian Navy. The armed forces of Ukraine destroyed the S-300 system in the Belgorod region of Russia with American HIMARS missiles. Images about this were shared on Telegram channels. Reportedly, Ukraine fired US-supplied HIMARS into Russia for the first time during the war. The Russian Ministry of Defense claimed that US-made HIMARS were launched at Russia's Belgorod on last Saturday. These assertions by the Russian Defense Ministry come in the wake of local reports of explosions in Belgorod. On June 1, several locals reported over 40 explosions within a 15-minute span in the city. However, the Ukrainian government has not yet commented on the claims made by Russia. In particular, after receiving permission from the US, the Ukrainian military aimed the HIMARS surface-to-air missile at the Russian Belgorod region. This is a welcome step that will now allow us to better protect Ukraine and Ukrainians from Russian terror and attempts to start a war, the US president said on the eve of the first similar attack. By striking Belgorod and the surrounding region, the Ukrainians wiped out the northern group of forces without having to fight the Russian street by street in Vovchansk. Russian air defenses downed two Ukrainian MiG-29 aircraft in Donetsk region over the past day, the Russian Defense Ministry said in a statement on Sunday. According to the Defense Ministry, apart from MiG-29 aircraft, Russian air defenses also destroyed 50 Ukrainian drones, 23 US-made HIMARS rockets, two Tachka U missiles, a Neptune missile and three French-made Hammer air bombs in the past day. The ministry also claimed that units of Battle Group Center took control of a Manskoy settlement, which is 25 kilometers to the northwest of Donetsk and had less than 180 inhabitants before Russia's full-fledged invasion of Ukraine. Furthermore, the Russian Defense Ministry said that the forces of the 23rd and 24th Mechanized Brigades of the Ukrainian Armed Forces and the 109th Territorial Defense Brigade were defeated near Novgorodskoy, Yevgenovka, Rozovka and Novosiolovka Purveya in the Donetsk region that is controlled by Russian troops. Over the past day, Russian tactical aircraft, 
unmanned aerial vehicles, missile forces and artillery units hit AP-18 radar designed to detect and track aerial targets, as well as Ukrainian troops and equipment in 103 areas, the statement reads. It added that units of Battlegroup North continued to advance deeper into Ukrainian defenses, hitting the forces and equipment of the 57th Motorized Infantry Brigade and the 92nd Assault Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, the 36th Marine Brigade, the 125th Territorial Defense Brigade and the 13th National Guard Brigade near Meliprokhodi, Gatish, Lipsy, and Neskuchnoi in the Kharkov region.